Okay, so um, instead of like scattering throughout the video, um, possibly why you clicked on this video, I'm just gonna tell you kind of straight up front um, whether this camera is good for filming skateboarding. And I'll say this, this camera is the most convenient thing in the entire world to film skateboarding with. That being said though, um, for like YouTube and maybe even Instagram, even though Instagram does seem to definitely favor um, vertical videos, obviously, and GoPro, it, you know, probably might not do as well on Instagram if you're trying to get likes or whatever. But YouTube, it's absolutely incredible. Filming like fun projects with your friends, like it's not a very serious video. Uh, get a GoPro. If you're filming your first like little mini full length or mini full length, that makes no sense. But you know, what? we're going to stick with it. Uh, I think it'd be a fun camera to play around with. Or if you're like learning how to film, it's so forgiving and you can get away with so much. It's perfect. But if you're trying to do like a more higher standard uh, project, uh, the likelihood of seeing this camera pop up in like, I guess what you would say more like mainstream or like legitimate uh, full length videos is probably uh, pretty slim just because of how much it's distorted. And you know, like the HVX and the um, VX1000 and the you know, using like the MK1, th those, that style of what a video looks like is so kind of ingrained in our heads that <clears throat> when I see those, that, like footage from those cameras i'm like that's what skateboarding looks like and this one was a little bit more not as like instant that i like which is like oh yeah like this this looks you know cool because it is different it is like a different angle of filming it's it's definitely sharper stuff moves around a lot faster and it's just not that classic skateboarding feeling that i have in my head um and i know some people don't like the audio uh, i didn't like the audio of the old ones this one has like way better audio so i actually kind of don't mind the audio of this one at all it has like six mics in it but anyways um i think if you're just trying to look for a camera to just to get to film for your friends nothing too serious by all means get it but if you're trying to do like a serious project or you have a friend who's like working on a video part or a sponsor me or something like that yeah maybe maybe stick to uh like a uh, the more official uh skateboard uh accepted cameras but all in all this camera is super fun i highly highly recommend you get this camera you're gonna see like how this camera rubs off on me i think it's you know it's it's a pretty genuine like i came in extremely skeptical and i mean you, you, you'll you see how it ends up i definitely am kind of a, a sucker for this camera so n enjoy a, a ton of skateboarding from uh, zach doling and myself uh at what is currently my favorite skate park i think so while I was at the uh, YMCA skateboard camp, uh, Ricky Flips was using a GoPro Max. It's like the newest GoPro. And I've definitely been one that thought that GoPros are pretty like, I don't know, silly looking. The fish eyes usually way too exaggerated. People get way too close. I think for most of us, what comes to our mind is uh, that guy Hoops or Dr. Purple Teeth, the way he's like, just like literally like inside people's colons, just like way too close. Everything looks way too distorted. Everything's moving too fast. You can't really tell what's going on, um, which is probably pretty silly because when I think of long lens, I don't think of strobic zooming in. It's crazy close. I just think of like classic long lens. Did you say colon? Should I not say colon? No, well, how do you say? Wondering. Yeah, I said colon. Okay. Should I not say colon? No, it's just an interesting thing. It's so interesting about. Bring up. Like they're up their ass. No, I know, but normally people just say up their ass, not inside their colon. Well, I'm different. He uh -huh. gets people colonoscopies <laughs> when he films them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got the newest GoPro, GoPro Max. They had the 6K one. Uh, I didn't get it uh, just because I said it sounds like it'll be a nightmare to upload. Like just the transporting or exporting just sounds like it'll take forever. But um, this should get the job done. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. Hey, there's like, are you gonna film the unboxing? The, the unboxing is literally just, you just peel this, I think. The first unboxing I think that I could actually do with one hand. Okay, now that this is unboxed. Um, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, yeah, it comes with a little case. Um, my big issue, me and Haley were talking about this on the drive up. Like my main issue with these cameras wasn't necessarily the sharpness of the fisheye, but just how silly it looks to chase someone around with a stick. But I think it is completely outweighed by the convenience of not having to hunch over. Like why should we work dumber, not smarter? Like what is the real point of like carrying around this heavy camera that makes your back sore? I mean, you look at the video Spirit Quest, that guy literally can't film anymore because the angles and ways that he had to film a lot of that video ruined his back. Think about that. He got more hurt than the skaters by filming all crazy like that. 
Uh, so the idea of being able to stand and film people sounds amazing. The lens is sharp enough that I can crop it enough that I'll be able to zoom in. So that's the main reason I got this. I'm not even positive I'm gonna stick with using this. That's the whole point of this video. Like, is a GoPro like an actual decent thing to film skateboarding with? And could you be able to do it, you know, outside of YouTube? Because I feel like there's this idea of the standard of skateboarding needs to be filmed with like a professional camera and blah, blah, blah. But cell phones and GoPros, the quality has gotten so high that it's just right next to like all the actual fancy cameras. And uh, in all honesty, probably more convenient. I can't tell you how nice it is to film something with my cell phone and then not have to like have them come over to my house, export it, and then, you know, send it to them that way or email it, use WeTransfer. I can just airdrop it. And, you know, GoPro is the same deal. I can just send people their footage super easy. So uh, this might be the, because uh, I do have a regular camera. I do, I do have a, so what do I have? We don't know what I have. I have a camera that people film with though. Um, so here it is, here's the GoPro. I don't know what this thing is. This is the battery. Oh, I probably should have got an extra battery. I thought you said it's like 90 hour battery life. No, that was the other thing that I got. I got a battery for charging phones too. It was like just like an external thingy. But I guess I could plug it in while I film with this. So you're right. Okay, this is, I'm not sure which one this is. I think this might be the ultra wide one. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Let's see if I can fuck with this exposure real quick. All right, ready when you are. Film that all sorts of shitty. Do so you want to go on the bowl or not? Dude, I skate all the street. I know you're a street skater. All this? That's all I skate. Show me, show me the street of the bowl, dude. couple minutes into me figuring this camera out. I'm literally showing every clip that I try to film just so you can see how fast it is to figure this thing out. I think I've filmed like six things and I'm already like keeping everyone in frame, uh, figuring out a little bit of the exposure. It's got a smear on the lens that I should probably fix, but look to keep it raw, dude, all natural, dude. Can I use my shirt? Yeah. Can I use my beard? <laughs> there you go. Could that do it? Nope. Could you guys feel that? Because I could feel it. <laughs> I just don't know how good this camera really is. <laughs> yeah, all right. Six cents. Uh, who's going where? Who's doing what? You got something cool for the rail? No, that I don't. Okay, but you're definitely gonna do it. Let me see, uh, you got front grip for the rail first try? Not a chance. Not a chance. I'll try a uh, back lip. Okay, back lip works. I film that good at all, but bam, that is, it's so fun to film with this thing. You can just put it wherever the fuck you want. So I got, I lost a little bit on that blunt fakie because I did a fakie pop rock like an idiot. I was like rolling too fast fakie and I was like, ah. But we're not planning any of these lines. I'm literally just trying to follow him and he's just improvising and it's 
literally this easy to keep up with I was you. Say, the only trick you know I'm doing is the first trick. Yeah, I know that you're gonna not land something on the handrail, and you actually surprise me every time by riding away from something. Because we've we've tried like three lines. Yeah. And all the first tricks we've been to make, so it's really just been like. What's gonna happen? Yeah, exactly. Which I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. They know. This is. You know what's gonna be really fun? This at Woodward. Oh, jumping into the uh, foam pit thing with you, not the Just foam like pit. Just skating next to each other, the little blob thing, right? Oh, you should get one of these if we could have them kiss while we skate. Oh, that'd be sick. <laughs> go ho. Okay, where are we? Uh, where, where are we going? Rail, Lahaba ledge. I don't know. Let's go to the rail again. Let me try in front of you, shit. Okay. Yeah, don't think. Just go. Yeah, you're really trying to put some umph into that. Let's see how bad I screwed up that first handrail trick. Ready. Here we go. We got the ultra wide now. This is Dr. Squirtle Teeth. Um, about to make this shit wet. So personally, I am not a fan of the way this lens looks. Zach evidently thinks it's great. I love it. Um, yeah, I guess we're, I'm gonna follow him around in a second. I was pretty dummy close, so we'll see how that looks. Okay, so evidently I can be closer. Whoa. Is there a pressure flip? Did you get that? I might have got the last second of it. You won't do it again. Oh my! <laughs> that was fun! Do it again, do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna miss all the tricks. You need a real trick. No, 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 this is a real trick. Oh! Body rail? It's not a body rail, it's a revert. Really? Learn your tricks, oh, dude. Oh. Okay. Worst filming, worst trick selection, worst dude. Best dude? What do you mean, dude? About me. Oh yeah, no, you're the best. Where are we going now? Switch all you 270 reverted on that quarter pipe. Did you? Yeah, I'm better than you at skating just by that filming right there. Your 5.0 fakie was whatever, dude. So there is no reason that I should have been able to keep them in frame on that front 5.0 to fakie, but since the lens is so wide and this handle is so like light and flexible and the, you know, uh, resistance to shaking is so high, the gimbalness of this, the yeah, you're, you're nervous filming me. I'm so nervous because it's like he's a star. Yeah. You know, he's like, like a big guy. You're shaking, man. You can't even tell. <laughs> you can't even tell how nervous I am. So I'm like, oh, is he going to do front crook or back tail? I don't know. It's one or the other, but I don't know. You literally said those are your two favorite tricks. 
yesterday. I literally said that to build up your confidence to come out with a big star like me. I was waiting for you to be like, shout out Zach Dolan. No, I would never shout you out. I shouted you out of my uh, latest video, right? I feel like you're gonna censor what I just said. No, no, I would never censor so it's you. It's like they're not even gonna know. I, yeah. That would take so much effort for me to do that, like to edit in me censoring you. No, that's never you happening. Have to, like take the sound out. Oh, I could. And then just, just, yeah, exactly. I could do that. Or like wah, wah, wah. put something else over it. What are you doing now? Probably back tail or front crook. Down the right. <laughs> will you back? Will you back tail down the rail? Oh, that's kind of scary. No, no, no. It's kind of great. All right, whatever. All right. You got it first try. All right. Intermission. I said intermission because there's so much dead space between this and the hip. That's a good start. No, we're good. Let me turn my board around too. I hit every rock in the park. Um, we were just talking about Dave Gonzalez winning Skater of the Year and how I think Boozman should have won. Where are we going? I gotta figure out this uh, exposure thing. I don't know. What should I do? Um, you know I'll just hit the rail on the hip. Okay. I haven't done that yet, so. Yeah, yeah. Try hit. Yeah. Oh, you should try to. Actually, don't do that. Hit the the rail going down the stairs, and then skate over to the hip over there, the one on the right. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done that yet. That's a good idea. Let's try it. He pinched that Susky wrong, so he's doing it again. Okay. So I accidentally filmed that in time-lapse mode. No, 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 tell them what it really was. Time warp, I filmed it in time warp mode. Time -lapse. Yeah, not time-lapse, time warp. Uh, so he has to do it again, and he told me that everyone only gets one, so he's probably not gonna do it again. But we're gonna try. I believe in you, dude. Actually got more that time. So fuck you, Zach. Okay, here we go. Zach's first time using this thing. I'm literally, however you film it, we're using this one in the video. Deal. So. I mean, I'm gonna use the footage too, so I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna start off real simple. I'm gonna start off with uh, we'll uh, 50-50 on the bump to ledge over there, and then we're just gonna keep on going. So just. Uh, so I point it like this, right, when I go? <laughs> yeah, point it at your tummy. Okay, so I'm like... <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I don't know how far... I don't even know... It's what on it. It's on ultra-wide, so just, okay. like, be inside of me, dude. Yeah. Get as close as you want.
hit the record button, huh? Hey guys, we're about to slap you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hold it like you. That's the first trick of my line. Yeah, that was your tray flip. Dude, okay, send it, send it. Oh my god. so much skateboarding than filming with this thing. I, like, I literally keep like whole, trying to hold you away. So this is both of our first time ever messing around with a GoPro. And once I get the colors figured out to make it less dark, like it's so easy to work with and it's so fun. I mean, if this, if this video looks even remotely good, that's good. Yeah. We've never used it before, so. But yeah, literally first go, I'm literally putting every single try of everything that we did in here so you can just see how hard it was. Uh, I was, my big issue with the GoPro, like I said before, was like, I just don't like the way people look following you around with a stick. Yeah. But function over fashion, like it's so easy. It's kind of fun too. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish this stick was a little bit longer, just cause I haven't been over like at all. 
sucks as yeah an adult. like well you why i bought this stick so you can get longer sticks yeah, totally. this is i got this stick because it also doubles as a tripod oh does it yeah and like oh, a, a, a handle little, thing yeah legs, like, spread yeah they spread apart the legs spread apart oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah that's hey, what Sick, dude. It's, yeah, I'm hyped. Good call for sure. Because I was like very against GoPros for a minute, but then I saw Ricky Flip's GoPro and just like the way when he sent me the photo city film with it, I was just like, that did that. And I was watching him film and it looked like he wasn't even paying attention. He was like, ah, I'm just gonna point it at you. Don't get me wrong, he's a good filmer, but he didn't need to be on his toes the whole time. Like tricks are going on all around him. You're just like, oh, yep, yep, got that, got that, got right. that. But also, like like I was alluding to earlier, he never skated. He yeah. ran always. Yeah. That's what Hoops does too. Yeah. Oh, he just follows you by feet. He follows you by feet. And I get it because there's times when I wanted to like turn sharp and with the skateboard, especially at kind of a slippery park, you can't do that. Yeah. On your feet, dude, you can just fucking juke and dash and And it destabilizer just handles all of it. Yeah, because I ollied the gap on that last one. And you said something about like Yeah, I was like, did you just ollie the gap? And when I watch the footage, the camera doesn't shake. The camera doesn't even move. Yeah, the, the cam the, there's a corner out there of the grass that comes out and he literally ollied like a foot and a half of it. <laughs> and like you hear it, but you don't see it. Yeah, that was that was sick, man. This thing's a fucking blast. I'm so glad I got this. Zach's all of a sudden in his head, he's like, oh man, maybe I kinda wanna get it. Dude, I know. Five hundred dollars definitely worth it uh, i bought the new iphone just so i could have the fish eye but this thing's even easier to work with like i said once i figure out the exposure and everything and i can uh probably do some uh, effects in my editing program to brighten it up a bit totally. it'll probably look a lot better um all i need to do now is get another battery because the battery does seem to die not fast this isn't a product review by the way but the battery lasts about a day of like you know using it somewhat heavy but you probably want an extra battery in case you're like really going in i mean you brought it to this session it was at 61 yeah, percent and it's, it's still like 20 right now yeah so. yeah it's at like 16 or something like that so we've been using it a good bit um plus me like figuring out all the settings and playing around so yeah it's it's worth its weight and go waterproofness I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's waterproof, too. Is it? Yeah. Let's go throw it in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Well, Haley was going to get one of these for surfing, and I was just like, yeah, I guess you could do that, or you could just film skating. But, yeah, I don't know. This might be the end of the video.